lessons that should have been learned have not been learned. And this is the first time. I mean, I sat on that committee, the Standards Committee, for three years. So I, I've seen it from the, the other side. And when I was on it, and after I was on it, when it, when it was a cross party committee, and of course I was an independent, the, the, the judgments on individual MPs and the penalties imposed were always endorsed by the full House on the floor of the House. What was extraordinary last Wednesday is that for the first time, the government tried to intervene uh, to protect one of its own. We hadn't seen that before. So if you're asking if things are worse, I think in that respect they are. Uh, absolutely vital point, and that, that indeed was at the heart of, uh, of not whatever Owen did or didn't do, but, but the response to it. But in your view, and, and being a highly respected journalist, it, it, it helps inform your answer, perhaps. In your view, Martin, is this about bad people or a bad system? This is not about uh, bad people. I do honestly believe that most members of parliament are there with the aim of benefiting their constituencies, their, their, their country and, and the world. But there are those whose uh, appetites seem to be uh, insatiable. Uh, I don't think, I'm not among the majority who tends to think that the system's not strict enough. I think on the whole, it has delivered um, fair judgments uh, over the years. Uh, but things have, have lately got out of hand. And uh, uh, I, I, I think this is going to be a wake-up call to, to everybody. Um, you just had Justin Tomlinson on. I mean, it's not on both sides of the House, because actually the, the attempted cover-up came from one side of the House. I'm not making part of a political point, because I'm not a party. I was not a party political uh, politician. But I think it's a wake-up call to all politicians. Uh, and I honestly believe that... Uh, that lobbying has to be... I mean, there's nothing wrong with lobbying, Alistair. I've lobbied on behalf of the salt industry because I had a salt mine in my constituency. Uh, what is wrong with lobbying is when money changes hands, and in this case, a lot of money changed hands.